Alrighty, so this is just a quick video for uh, how to install mods onto Elden Ring. Uh, this is going to be using Mod Engine 2.0, so it will be assuming that you have a Steam copy of the game uh, to do so. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to have Mod Engine 2.0. Uh, that will be linked in the description, but it will look something like this. You're going to want to just download the actual Mod Engine 2.0 preview, not the source code. The source code will not do you any favors. So once you have it downloaded, you can just extract it to your desktop or wherever you want. Uh, when you open it up, it should look like something like this with a mod folder, Mod Engine 2, all this other good stuff here. Um, we're just going to click the mod folder, open that up for us really quick. So that's just going to sit there. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is download the mod itself. Um, it'll be at the link in the description. There's going to be two options here under files. Um, it will be the whole meme pack with icons or the meme pack without icons. Um, I decided to do one without the icons because they are just a very, very bloated um, bunch of files. So they really pump up that size in file for some reason. So I don't know why, but it just does. So uh, download whatever one it is that you want to use. Um, the icons literally are just the icons in the bottom left, like your Estus flask and a few other things, nothing crazy. But if you want the whole thing, there you go. If you don't, there you go. Uh, so once you have that downloaded, you can go and grab either or, depending on which one you get. We're just going to do the full thing here for the sake of the video. Uh, we're just going to extract it to its own folder on our desktop here. It will take a second just because it's a fairly sizable folder and all that. So, so it's, that's done. We've got this folder right here. Uh, unpacked, it's about 3.7 gigabytes. Uh, so we're just gonna open that up right next to our mod folder from Mod Engine. And we're just going to, you can either copy it and paste it over there, or you can just drag and drop it to move it over. Uh, depending on whether or not you got the one that has icons or without icons, you will or will not have the menu folder here. That's why it's so bloated. It's two and a half gigabytes of crap. Uh, that I haven't figured out how to repack and have work still, so I apologize. Uh, it will come with a regulation bin. Uh, at the time of this video, it is current and uh, compatible with 1.06 for Elden Ring. Uh, in the event you're seeing this later off in the future, you may need to update the mod if I haven't at the time. It's not that hard to do. I'm pretty sure I have a video on it. If I don't, I will make one. Uh, once you have all the folders here in the mod folder, you can just come back here and click launch mod Elden Ring dot bat. If you don't see the dot bat, it's because you don't have file extensions visible in your uh, file explorer, or whatever. So uh, we will just double click that to actually launch Elden Ring real quick. So assuming you did all that right when you load into the game, uh, if you're right at the very beginning of the game, the only thing that you're going to notice is that your SS flasks are called whoppers and they may or may not have the icon down there in the bottom left, depending on uh, whether or not you picked icons. Uh, and then if not, you won't have them. If you do, great. Uh, everything will be all memed up, you know. You saw the video, you know what's up. Uh, so that should be pretty much all in terms of installing the mods uh if you like the mod make sure you leave a like on lenny's video uh, if you want to learn how to make mods yourself i have videos on my channel specifically going over how to use most of the mod tools how to make mods import stuff blah blah blah, blah all sorts of cool stuff um just a quick shout out to lenny for working with me on the project and let me help out it's been a blast so uh Again, if you guys like that or you want to see more type of stuff, make sure you support the heck out of Lenny's video. And uh, if it's in your wheelhouse to check out my channel, do that too. If not, hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Take care.